Marsha? There's nothing that you want to talk about, like the Strix? I do hope that you can come, old chum, sign Tristan. I was picking up hope when some random vampire dropped it off. You care to fill me in? This isn't your concern. Oh, but it is. <coughs> so why don't you cut the protective macho crap and tell me what's really going on? I'm part of this family too, Elijah. I thought you of all people would act like it. So what do you want to know? What are you doing here? I live here. Yes, obviously. I just hadn't realized you were back from wherever it is you go to when you leave. Perhaps I was thrown off by the lack of strange gentlemen callers perusing the contents of my refrigerator this morning. Your concern for my whereabouts is touching. I simply want to know who is here at any given moment. I hardly think that's too much to ask. Well, as long as we're taking attendance. Oh, good. It's my not-so-loving elder brother and my former one-night stand. What a nice, normal family gathering. Charming. Elijah was just catching me up on how you have no clue which one of your long-lost buddies you can trust and which one is trying to kill you. Well, clearly what the situation needs is more opinions. I assume you told her about the bloody prophecy. I was just getting to that. Now would be good. Well, it appears my old mate Lucian has acquired a genuine seer, and in an effort to prove his good intentions, he got her to show us some rather dire visions of future doom. It's grim stuff, really, not for the faint of heart. Whose doom are we talking about? Because if it's yours, then I think we're all okay with that. <laughs> Well, sadly, we're all on the chopping block. But chin up, this witch claims her visions are constantly evolving, so you may just get your wish. Well, I want to meet this psychic witch. Tonight.